Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to review The Dragon's Hide by Dustin Porter and DK Holmberg. A cosy tavern on the edge of the Empire holds a dangerous secret. When Traylon's mentor died and his dragon failed to grow like the others, Traylon feared he would be stuck forever at the Abbey where the Queen's assassins train. Fate has other plans when a message arrives ordering him and his dragon Rhyme on a dangerous mission. Kill the glyph scribe, supplying enchanted weapons to the enemy. But first Traylon needs to master the arts of disguise, deception and interrogation. So I read this as part of my batch for the self-published fantasy blog of round 9. If you have ever read a fantasy and felt there was not enough training montage, this book may be for you. We follow Traylon as he learns his craft. We meet him resourceful and eager to share his knowledge. He is training to be an assassin at this isolated mountain abbey, but as in the synopsis, his mentor has died, so he and his friends are training the younger students. He comes across as intelligent and caring, but uncertain of change. And when he is sent out to learn more about his craft, it is quite clear how out of his depth he is. But he is willing to learn, even when he thinks he already knows it all. I enjoyed getting to know the other characters through his eyes, especially Aaron and Volante, and the characters we meet at the Dragon's Hide. Some of the other characters are more developed than others, but it was a great cast of characters to spend time with. I really enjoyed the dragons in this. It felt like a fresh approach and it fit really well into this world. So Traylon is bonded to Rhyme, who is a small dragon, and as part of that bond, Traylon can use some of Rhyme's abilities. There is a cost with this, which was really interesting to explore. Dragons start out as what seem to be the size of cats in this world, and their relationships and interactions with their bonded humans change throughout their lives as they grow. Traylon and Rhyme's relationship really is at the centre of this and I really enjoyed watching that develop. The magic system in this was a really fun one to explore as well, it is a glyph based system. The glyphs however are not a simple draw it and you're done, um, they require knowledge of how they may change throughout the year, throughout the moon cycle and require knowledge of a word to make them work. It's a complicated system and we learn about it slowly, learning about it as Traylon does. Our story takes place in a world where countries are in a state of increased tension, pretty much just a step before all-out war. Iverna, where the Abbey is, is a small country with fighting to the south and the east. This added a background tension to events, knowing that at any day there could be an escalation. I did think that this was a well thought out and well built world without too much in the way of info dumps. Information was given to the reader in a way that felt natural, whether this was Traylon dwelling upon his past or information that he learned while he was doing his training. The Dragon's Hide was built to feel almost cosy. It is isolated from the rest of the world and this is where Traylon's most of his training takes place. And a lot of this book was taken up with Traylon's training, with a little bit of plot sprinkled through every now and then. I did feel though that most of the plot regarding the outside world took place in pretty much the last 20% of the book, giving it a very different feeling to most of what we had read so far. And as such, I felt it really did feel like a set-up book. This was definitely a book one, setting up for the rest of the series, rather than telling its own contained story as part of a greater whole. I did find the injuries were handled somewhat inconsistently within this. Sometimes it was something that needed fixing straight away, and at other times quite serious injuries didn't seem to matter until someone else pointed them out. And I really lost track of how many times Traylon lost left pools of blood splattered around without any seeming ill effects. I got worried about how much blood that boy held within his body. But overall I enjoyed reading this one, I do enjoy a good training montage, it is an interesting world with a fairly unique take on dragons. So if you have read this I would love to know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I shall see you all soon.